right, welcome everybody to the YouTube channel. Make sure if you guys subscribe and like the video. Hopefully you guys have watched the previous videos on how to do, uh, how to find the slope of a line on the coordinate plane. And hopefully this will be more practice for you, for you to get a better, better hang of these types of problems. If you want to try it on your own, you guys can pause the video at the moment and then give it, give it a try yourselves. Hopefully you guys did that. All right, so now I'm gonna try to help you guys walk through these problems. We got six problems. Two of them are on this coordinate plane. And then we got four other ones that are not on the coordinate plane, but I want you guys to use your imagination uh, to see that these are still on the coordinate plane. That's why we have the dashes, but just because we didn't want to draw the entire coordinate plane. But I want you guys to just get the hang of it and try to just find the slope of a line. Remember, the slope of a line is m. m equals the rise over the run. The rise, like an elevator, you're going up or you're also going down. And the run, you're just running to the right, okay? And M, think of M as a mountain. It can go uphill and it can go downhill. Okay, so now let's work through the first one. Uh, for number one, uh, this line, we, we see that it goes up one dash. We see one dash right here. See one dash. And then to the right, you see four dashes. So it's going to the right four. So we can see that M, the rise would be one. And then the, the run would be four because it goes to the right. And we see that we're going uphill. And think of it as like emotion. If you're feeling up, you're, you're feeling in a positive mood. If you're feeling down on yourself, you're gonna be in a negative mood. So think of it kind of like that. So M would give you one over four. It's gonna be a fraction. So there you go, that is number one. Number two, we see that you have one dash mark going down, and then you got three dash marks going to the right. And then we see that if you plug it into the little formula, we have M equals the rise, which would go down one, and then it would go to the right three, spaces, three dash marks, three points on the coordinate plane. So we see that M equals one third. A lot of students will just leave it like this. Remember, if you're feeling, let's say if you're feeling down on yourself, you're going downhill. If you're feeling down on yourself, you're gonna feel negative about yourself. So that is why this slope will have to be negative and that is why M equals negative one third. All right, now let's take a look at number three. Number three, remember rise over run. Do not forget that term, rise over run. When you're rising, you can also be falling like an elevator. We've been keeping saying, you can go up or you can go down. Right here, we are going up. We are going up four dash marks, four spaces. One, two, three, four. We're going up four. And then we're going to the right, two spaces. You see the two dash marks going there. So we have, plug it into the formula, we have M equals four over two. Not a lot of students will leave it like this, but you know, some teachers out there can be picky. They won't like four over two. Now, if you have a calculator nearby, you have a phone, everyone has a calculator, plug in four divided by two into your calculator because a fraction is just division, but I'm not here to teach you guys about division. So use the calculator, four divided by two, you will get the answer of two. So your slope for this line is two. Now, Right here, number four, we have these dash marks going, uh, five are going down, and then one is going to the right. Now, we can see that M would equal, we have the rise, which is five, and then the run would just be one space. So there we go, five over one. You plug that into your calculator, you get the answer of M equals five. So your slope for this line is five, but do not forget that it is going downhill. So what do we do? We put a negative on here. So your answer would be negative five. So don't forget that when it's going downhill, you're feeling down on yourself, you feel negative. So that is why this one's a negative and this one is a positive. So now heading on to number five, we have three dash marks going down. And then we have four dash marks going to the right. So now I'm going to ask you, what is, what sign is this going to be? Is this going to be a negative 
or is this going to be a positive slope? I want you guys to answer that. What is it going to be? Is it going to be negative or is it going to be positive? And hopefully you answer that it's going to be negative because you're going downhill. Remember, forgive me, but remember that when you're going downhill, you're going to feel down about yourself. You're going to feel negative. So this is going to be a negative slope. Now, the three is your rise. And then your run is going to be four. As we see, the green and the purple, as you know, the green and the purple over there. Now, lastly, number six. We saw m equals negative three over four. Now the last one we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six dash marks going up. And then we have one dash mark going to the right. Now you see that your slope would be six over one and you would just end up getting, if you put that into your calculator, you get m equals six. And you see that it's positive because you're going uphill. It is a very steep line, but you're, also, you're going uphill. Think of it, if you have a person on the left, you're going to the right, you're going to be climbing a very steep hill. So that is basically finding the slope of the line. Uh, remember that m equals rise over run, if you're going uphill, you're feeling up on yourself, so you're feeling in a positive mood here. And if you're going, if you're feeling down on yourself, then you are in a negative mood. This is why the fraction will be negative. Hopefully, you guys learned. Hopefully, you guys stick around uh, to see more uh, math videos. Hopefully, you guys learned on what how to find the slope of lines using these. Thank you so much.